Okay, what we're going to do in this part is... Yeah, this one. Um, so what we got at last time was the automatic refreshing, so... Automatic refreshing, so as you can see here, this automatically refreshes. Uh, this time, we're going to get this part going, like the sending bit of it. So it sends it without refreshing the page and whatnot. So to get that done, we are we'll start off with creating some vital files. So in our scripts folder, last time we created a JavaScript folder or JS folder and PHP folder. Within the PHP folder, we are going to create a file called send.php. Then back a directory into the JavaScript one, and we're going to create a file called send.js for JavaScript. So send js easy as that I'm, I'm using the explorer add-on for notepad plus plus there if you wonder what that was so what we and a, a quick way out of rewriting some things is we copy this so control c that and we put our php tags in control v up oh, home tab that prevents us from oh, yeah, prevents us from run that oh, run that again. That's always helpful. That's why we invent um, object oriented language to prevent us writing over and over again. Redundant code. This is redundant. Tell you the truth. Okay, so now go back to the in. Now we go back to the index page. The index page like that. Now, there's some things we do not need in here anymore. Since the form can be handled by jQuery or JavaScript, or, or Ajax, I should say, we don't need that bit of code that at the first bit that handled the form last tutorials. Um, we also need to give the form and the inputs an ID. So I'm going to give them an ID. Now, the form. I'll, I'll, we'll call it form input. Maybe maybe form input. Form input. Yeah, form input in the ID. And the, the name, the sender, we're going to also give that an ID equal to sender. So give it the same as the, the actual name of it, just give it an ID. It, it's much easier to reference this in, with using jQuery. Um, we are using jQuery in this. That's why we give them an ID because you're ref referencing and grab values from it instead of referencing the element and whatnot. We also need to give the submit button an ID so you can reference that as well. And just give it an ID of send. So once that's done, we need to put a, a div tag above the form. Now this div tag is what's going to do the um, show set the message sent so I'll show you in a second what it is so ID feedback and just like so and basically what that is is that little message up here that's that's a feedback that's what that div does so save that that's all we need to do there I believe we also need to add another script to include that um, send script. So what we're going to do here is just click on that line somewhere, if you notepad plus plus, and control D prevents us from it again. And just get rid of that auto chat and put send.js, as you can see, send.js, and save. Now, I believe that is all we need to do on this page. If I, well, hopefully that's all we need to do. That's what I think we need to do. Okay, so what we're going to start off with is uh, the send the JavaScript. So what we are going to do is select the form first. So in jQuery, you use this as before and the same selector as CSS. So pound form input. Now, whatever you named the form here is what you reference here 
and then we're going to go dot submit. So this is our what do they call them in JavaScript jQuery event handler or something. So on submit, it's going to run. So just semicolon. It's going to run a function. This function, like so. Now, if you if you we'll just do it. Now another thing I want to do first before I do that is return false. Now what that does is if we if we don't do that and all that done, you know, control save. If we don't do that, when we refresh when we submit something like so, we get it didn't work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Another th another thing we need to do is in the action of the index, just put pound. We don't want it referencing anything because we don't want to go to any page. So just get to pound it, pound it. <laughs> now, if we refresh, we didn't refresh either and send done we get the pound we don't want that we don't want the pound going up there okay so the way to get rid of that stop uh, stop that happening is we put return false now that's after when that's run that's going to stop everything in the uh, default events running so refresh the page and just type some things in there send message Done. It alerts us. Doesn't go out there anymore. That's what we want. So just refresh again. So now we know the form. It selected the form correctly, and it's that's done. So the next thing we're going to do is create some variables. Now these variables is what's going to hold the message which the person is sending and the name of the sender. So and use the selector again and dot val for value or short for value and that's going to select so it's control D and this one's going to be called sender now what we whatever you named these the ID here is what you put you're on a bad day, but you just run random stuff. That's meant to be a message. Sorry. Ah, uh, yeah. So sender and message. Whatever you name them is what you're referencing here. So since they're ID, we use the pound, and we're looking for the message, and we named it message. Like so. The one below it is going to be we use pound again, and it's the sender. It's a sender. Control save. Now their value. Now just making sure you get the values correctly. We we are going to alert. Just just make sure we are getting them. Um, sender plus sign message. And in that plus sign we're going to go sent that. Control save. Now, refreshing this, Luke tree. If you get Luke sent tree, it's grabbing the values correctly, which is what we want. That's good. That's, that's good. So, get rid of that now. The next bit we want to do is start Ajax. So, so use the jQuery Ajax function. Dollar sign dot Ajax like so. Now, just like in the last tutorial, we use the URL one. We didn't use this one last tutorial, but I'll talk to you in that, about that in a second. And we use this one, so on success, we're going to run a function.
to the URL. We are, now we are the URL goes from where the JavaScript's been referenced. So we we're referencing it from the index page. So we're going from the root directory. So we're going to go to the scripts folder, scripts, the JavaScript folder, no PHP folder. Sorry, PHP folder. So PHP, and then we're going to the send dot PHP. That's the URL, so it's basically where the JavaScript is going to fetch the document from. The next one is data. Now, this one we're going to put uh, sender colon sender comma message or message space message colon message. You're probably wondering what the hell is that? Okay, this is the PHP variable, the get variable that we'll reference in PHP and this is the JavaScript file so that's uh, what we're setting what we're putting in the variable so that's the sender so whatever that equal to is equal to that and whatever that equal to is equal to that now and the function is this so on success we're just going to alert data for now so when we alert data Okay, yeah. So in the send PHP, we're going to do an if statement. So if is set, we it's a get variable. So underscore get sender and not empty. I believe it is not empty underscore get sender we are going to, if that's correct, we're going to run this bit of code and it's going to be name sender is equal to underscore the line is called get sender. Then another thing, we're going to do another if statement. Now this is the message one. So if is said dollar underscore get sender. And not empty dollar underscore get. Oh, I did that again. It's message, not sender. Sorry. Stressed out. <laughs> message. So if if that is set, so the variable has been set, and it's not empty. We're going to run this bit of code. Run whatever's in here. And basically, we're just going to end. So, the first thing we're going to do is set the message variable equal to underscore get message. Okay. Now, we go back to the first if statement. So if it's if it isn't set and is empty, we're going to put else echo no name was entered. And oh this time got away. Forty minutes. I have for fifteen minutes. Um, this one here, we'll just do this up, and I'll come back and do another tutorial. Else, echo, no message wasn't. Okay, um, see you in the next tutorial.
Um, yeah, that's just going to say, if that isn't set, yeah, this is going to, but yeah, might as well just finish it up here. Um, if that isn't set, I, if it isn't set and is empty, the message, obviously there's no message there, so we're just going to echo that out. Um, in the next part, watch the next part, and I'll get this finished. Thanks for watching.